today on this curly video, I'm going to show you how to sew basket liners like these without a pattern and without having to sew any tricky corners. Really. To calculate the dimensions of the material we'll need, first measure the circumference of the basket's opening and then add 2 inches to that number. Next, measure down one skinny side of the basket across the bottom and up the other side. Divide this by 2 and add 4. Now, if you're using a square basket, of course, any side will do. Then we cut out our fabric to those dimensions. Next, we're going to fold our fabric in half the long way and pin it closed. Then we sew that pinned edge using a 1 half inch seam allowance. When we're done sewing, we should have something that looks like a tube. Lay it out flat and pin one side closed. And then we sew it shut, again using a 1 half inch seam allowance. So we have now sewn a bag. But we don't want a bag. We want a basket liner. So our next step is to create the basket shape. What we're going to do is we are going to measure the skinny width of our basket, which is about six inches. So I'm going to take my bag and I'm going to fold it like so. Pushing the sides out, making a triangle. If we fold it right, the bottom seam of the bag should run up the very center of the triangle. Then, using a ruler, we measure up from the point just to where the ruler measures 6 inches, which is the width of our basket. After we mark our measurement with a pencil, we pin along the mark. When you're done pinning the points, your bag should now look something like this. What we're going to do next is sew the points on our pencil line. After a quick run through the sewing machine, we trim off the points we just made, about a half inch from the seam. Now this will go inside our basket, but we need something to hold the outside down. For that, we're going to sew in a channel and put in some elastic. To make a channel, fold down the top one half inch, press it, fold it down another half inch, and press it again. Sew at the bottom folded edge of the channel around the opening until you're about one inch from where you started sewing. I'm using one quarter inch elastic, which I measure around the opening of the basket, pulling it a little so it fits snug. <coughs> to feed the elastic through the channel, attach a safety pin to the elastic and feed it through the opening. When you're done pulling the elastic through the channel, you're going to want to sew the ends of the elastic together. And I kind of like to do this part by hand. Then we pull the elastic taut, it slips into the channel, and then we sew close the opening which we fed the elastic through. And that's it! Want to see how it looks? bad if I do say so myself. Until next time, this is DIY Maven for Curbly.com.